this PGA Tour event brought to you by 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the Golf Club Open is about to begin. Luke Elby here alongside Rich Beam and Rich, we're kicking off another season on the PGA Tour. Can't wait to see some of the stories unfold. I'm certainly excited to have you as my co-pilot once again. Luke, always a pleasure being alongside you for another PGA Tour season. As most of us at home are watching, all the fans of golf, I can't wait for this thing to get started. Is it nerves? Is it excitement? How are the players feeling? They're feeling good. It's like a fresh start. Anything that they did last year is kind of forgotten. This year, it's a fresh start, new opportunities to win, to finish in the top 10. Whatever their goals are, it's just a fresh start for these players, and they're all looking forward to it. Can't wait to see what unfolds. That's really not what they were looking for. And John, what's this one looking like? Well, guys, they're in the deep stuff here. And they did get a favorable lie considering the situation. Let's see what happens. That's a smart option. Back into the fairway. Getting ready to play their third. Going with the eight iron here. 
Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at Birdie coming up. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones. Right on eight feet. Nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. He's currently tied for second. We have a par four on this one. Well, I like the look of the line here. It should find the fairway. Second shot on the second. Looks to be going with the five iron. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Well, that's beautifully judged. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? I am down on the sixth hole, and this is Billy Horschel's next shot. This putt's for birdie. Well, that should limit the damage. Nicely done. Well, what a way to make a move to the top of the leaderboard. Cutting for birdie. Oh, just missed. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. So, no movement on the leaderboard there, remaining at even overall. Let's see what happens here at the third hole.
Going with the five wood. Oh, that's a lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the third. Nine feet to the cup. This one's dialed in. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. Currently one under for the round. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. That should find the fairway. John, what's going on out there? Well, I'm down here on the seventh, and this is a look at Gary Woodland's next shot. And here we are with the third shot. That shot goes in. That'll be a birdie. Oh, trying to hit a little punch shot, and they do to perfection. What a shot indeed. Let's return to live play now. Sitting at one under. Currently tied for first place. Keep your fingers crossed for a bounce to the right. That's well played. Pin high. That's the mark of a ball striker. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. Hey, nice-looking line. And that will drop in for birdie. And that will take him to two under. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. The lead continues to grow. This is simply amazing. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. This tournament's coming alive. I wonder what just went down. Moments ago, a beautiful shot happened on the course. Let's take a look at it. Tony Fino with a fantastic shot. Sitting at two under par, currently in top spot. Opting for the five wood. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. That's just inside the range. He's already made a few birdies today. And this is another good look. Big chance here. 
Well, that's an early statement right there. That is definitely a confidence builder. And it's time to recap that play. Still in the lead now after that hole. This hole is a par five. Nicely done. Rich, some genuine excitement in the air for this season opening event. As it should be, players have had a time to sit back, relax during the holidays, spend time with family, friends. But now it's time to get back to work. And I got to say, the opening event always has a very unique buzz about it, doesn't it? Everybody is excited. The players, the fans, the caddies, the reps. I mean, we can make a laundry list of everybody that's out here to embrace the season over. I'm excited. I know you're excited. Well, let's get into it. Well struck. This one's for Birdie. Nice stroke. You can mark it down. That's Birdie number four today. And with that, he'll move to four under par. Our current leader is up by three shots. Deep into the front nine, here we are at the seventh hole. Looks like they've got the five wood. So I might need to sit. Hey. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. Setting up here with a very long putt. And that putt just was never hit hard enough. This putt is about 16 feet. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? That hole's done. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Well, I'm down on the 10th hole. This is a look at Gary Woodland. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. And a chip in, Luke, just what the doctor ordered. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. And after that hole, you're currently leading JT by a couple of shots. On the tee now, coming off the bogey. Might have a bit of a sting in the tail, I'd imagine. Oh. 
That one's heading down Broadway. Playing this shot from about 210 yards out. Lovely effort, that. Let's recap what Tony Finau was able to do just a little while ago. Let's recap this big putt. Good smooth stroke. He's been dialed in all day on the greens and there's yet another example. OK, let's get back to the action. Well, good chance to take it even deeper here. This putt's for four under. It's on a great line. And that putt will drop. And he'll extend his lead. And that will take him to four under. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. Here we have a par five. Is it time to get after it? We'll play it safe. Not bad. Time to take their approach shot into the ninth. Getting ready to play their third. Nice shot, that. That should find the surface. Yeah, quality shot, that. Birdie at the last. This for another. Trying to get to five under with this putt. Tracking. It was on a good line. Okay, that hole's behind you now. Leading by four strokes after that one. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. And this effort by Gary Woodland was just a little while ago. This is how you do it seven days a week. Well, that's a bonus. Mark that down on the card. And back to the course with the live action. Second shot here at the 10th. Opting for the hybrid, I think. And hitting yet another green here in regulation. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. And with that, he'll move to five under par. 
He sits in first position. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Well, that should find the bunker. Now, man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? Yeah, that ball really dug into this bunker. It's, uh, she's deep, boys. She's deep. What a shot. Almost went in the bucket. That dog will hunt. Just a full footer remaining. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. And that's the kind of fighting spirit that keeps a good round going. And that is a nice birdie from the bunker. Way to go. Let's have a look at this highlight. And what about this from Billy Horschel, right out of the top drawer? Third shot now. It's in the hole. And after this hole, that's how it looks. Our current leader is enjoying a six stroke advantage. Pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Going with the seven. Outstanding approach shot. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Go on, get in the hole. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. And that will take him to seven under. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. off here on the 13th hole. Oh, that was pummeled into submission. Second shot here on the 13th hole. That's some good golf right there. Sitting at seven under, currently in the lead. That'll work, that's fine. This part of about seven feet to the hole. It's on a good line. Okay, steady now. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. And now minus seven for the event. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff.
Amman on the ground. John, he's down there. What's the news? Well, I'm on the 15th hole. Tony Finau's just getting ready for his next shot. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Oh. Well, that's a beautiful bunker shot there. Let's get back to it, shall we? Time for the second shot at the 14th. Seems to have chosen the three wood. That's a wonderful shot here at the 14th and sets up a chance for birdie. This one's looking good. Not sure if they understood the lie of the land there, Rich. That's well hold. Currently at seven under for the day. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. Gee, there's some energy and action going on all around this property. Wonder what's happened. That's a good looking shot there. There's been action aplenty all over the course. How about this shot at the last? And this effort by Gary Woodland was just a little while ago. Well, that's high quality. I'm sure they're aiming for it, but for it to go in, that's awesome. Okay, let's get back to the action. Chance to move to eight under here. This one's tracking. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Didn't have to sweat that par putt. Yeah, nice to have that cushion heading down the last few holes. Now, eight shots in front. Three holes remaining, this is what it's all about. Time to see who is gonna get it done. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Just let that shot be water off a duck's back. He's in the bunker. Not sure how this one's lying. John? Ball really burrowed into this bunker. Um, they're going to need to be quite careful as they, as they exit this beach, guys. And here we are with the third shot. Come on, get down. Well, that'll set up a birdie bid, Rich. A little wobbly on this hole at times, but this is going to all but guarantee them a par. Good shot. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Just a couple to go. Let's see how you handle the penultimate hole. Standing on this par four and leading. What's the strategy? What's going on through their mind? Attack it or lay back? This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Oh, what a shot by our leader.
getting ready to play their third. Superb line on that shot. Four feet to the cup. And in it goes for the par. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. And now this player tees off their final hole of the event with the lead. Looking shot this. Well, that's right out of the top draw. A great shot from our leader. I don't. That drive, he hit it so far, there's no divots in the fairway where he hit it. Hole out from off this green here. You'll win the tournament. Oh, that was tidy. That should ensure the up and down. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. And that'll do it. Holds it for the win. And you know how much blood, sweat, and tears they've put into getting to this point in their lives, their career. This is life-changing. Couldn't be happier. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, and Rich B, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.
welcome to our PGA Tour coverage here on 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open is about to start. Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam here in Las Vegas. It's known as Thin City, but we're at TPC Summerlin for the golf. What's this course like? This golf course historically plays firm and fast and yields lots of birdies. So players going into this week know full well that they have to have the putter going. They need to hit a lot of greens, but they also need to make sure that they're making five, six, seven birdies a day out there. Because if they're not, if they're struggling with birdies and only making pars, then the entire field is going to pass them by. It's a great opportunity because historically the wind doesn't blow very much and all the par fives are reachable, but still having to make birdies, knowing you need to make birdies, isn't always the easiest thing. We're in Vegas and you can even see the famous strip from the golf course. Do the players need to roll the dice? Have a little gamble out on that course? I think you have to gamble everywhere on the PGA Tour, but in Las Vegas, I think it's required, isn't it? Be rude not to. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's head out to the action. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. What an opportunity to make a birdie. They've made it. Off to a great start today. Yeah, you gotta love seeing those go in early. Puts you in a good mood for the rest of the day. Getting off to a great start at this event. I can't ever recall him making a birdie and feeling bad about it. So yes, birdie on the first, great job. The second at TPC Summerlin is a par four, measuring 469 yards from the back tee. It plays slightly downhill, so a strong drive here will set up even just a short iron approach. However, there's a huge waste area to the right, so accuracy off the tee is required. The smart option here is to lay back with the three metal and give yourself a full shot in, and also take one club less into this green as it will release down the slope. Not a bad line, this one. <laughs> Already a winner this season. Number two would be very nice here today. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine -nine. You can hear the excitement in the air. It's starting to build. John, give us a small update. Down on the fourth hole, guys. This is Justin Thomas's next shot. And here we are with the third shot. Obviously dialed in there, but not an easy shot. Super stuff. 11 feet to the cup.
get excited. This could go in. A wonderful putt. He can claim it. Back to back birdies. Gotta like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Currently two under for the day. Oh and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? The third hole at TPC Sumlin is a very strong par four, measuring 492 yards. There's a huge ravine that works right up through the middle of this. It requires a very strong drive up the right half to go at this green in two. There is a big fairway to the left if you want to tuck over and get up and down for your par that way. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. From around 180 yards out. Going with the hybrid. Oh, a terrific approach and a chance for birdie here at the third. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. This one's online. Just didn't drop. Putting for par. And that putt will drop. Well done. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. The fourth at TPC Summerlin is a pretty straightaway par four, measuring 450 yards from the back tees. The fairway bunkers down the left and right are to be avoided. Really, not much to this hole, just be accurate on approach. That should find the cut stuff. Game with the 9-iron, I think. Oh, come on, sit. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hole a long one. Still counts. He's already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. Slightly misjudged. Well, I think they fell in love with the line, forgot about the pace. Job done. Let's head to the next. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Well, I'm down in the fifth hole. This is Tony Finau's next shot. Getting ready to play their third. Nice bunker shot, not rewarded, however, still very good. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. The fifth at TPC Summerlin is a par three measuring 197 yards. Depending on where they put the tees on this hole, ensures the type of club you need to get at it. If you're going at it, make sure you avoid that bunker that's short and right. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two-putt that for sure. He's already had a few birdies today. This for another. This game for a while. I haven't played it in a while. It's up, so it could be in. Yeah. Ah, fuck. Just three feet to the cup. 
Yeah, we'll take that. And this effort from Patrick Catley just a short while ago. Well, this is a fair reason why our leader is where he is. So what's going on, regulator? Regulators, regulate. Lining up for his third now. Well, that'll take a little anxiety out of the next one. Beautifully judged. And after that hole, Dude, this game is so I like like detail is amazing. I love this game. Look at that. That's beautiful. The six the TPC Summerland is a staking par four playing four hundred and thirty. Yes, that is me. I look horrible, but oh well. I suck at creating people. Which there was a community creations for this game. Hey, congrats. That's awesome. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. From around 120 yards here. Not too much. Get in, get in. Too much, too much. Ah. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. He's already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. Get in there. Yeah. We pick up our coverage at the seven. Going with the pitching wedge here. Well, this one's right at the pin. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here at the centre. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. The seventh at TPC Subtle is a short par four measuring just 382 yards off the tips. Really, you just want to avoid the trees on the left-hand side because that will prevent you getting at the green, which is well guarded by bunkers and... This game's are relaxing, too. Short right, a nice little wedge in here. And try and make a birdie. Nicely done. Come on. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. Nice. That's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. And this one for back to back birdies. Pretty straightforward four footer coming up here. Nice one. Fourth birdie of the day. Two in a row there. Look, getting their groove on. I thought I wanted to stream something different for a change instead of just wrestling. The 8th of TPC Summerlin is a big par 3 playing 239 from the tips. A well struck shot will avoid the gully here, but anything to the left half can roll off the green. The bunker short rider also to be avoided, so you don't make a sloppy boat. That might be one club too many. Oh, fuck. And the effort that one. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you 
see it. Looking like around 45 feet, guys. And the graphics are awesome. Yeah, I used to play that with uh, friends back in the day. We would stay up really late, and we would just play each take turns playing. I don't know how many play if you can play multiple players on this or not. I would assume you can. We would just have fun with it and stay up late and playing this. Everyone take turns. Oh fuck. I know, I know. I heard this was a do another Tiger Woods game, I thought. That was horrible. Shame it didn't drop. You'll happily just go ahead and tap that in. And sadly that'll just be a bogey here. Let's start to head back down to the fairways, John. What's up, mate? Down on the tenth ball, as this is Justin Thomas's next shot. His next shot coming up from the set. The detail on this game is pretty good. It came out in 2020, I believe. And I don't think there's a new game yet. Well, that shot took some serious skill. That takes great skill. Lovely shot out of the sand. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Let's see what we got. New golf game. The ninth at TPC Sutherland was a part of There's Golf Club Wasteland. I'm not sure what that is. Just avoid that bunker off the left of the tee. Then, if safe in the fairway, you can get out to this green. A strong shot will play to the left half of this green and feed down to any hole location. A birdie chance, no doubt. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short shot. Typically played in the full portion of the season, but it really does have a great field these days. The Shriners Hospital for Children's Open, stage in Las Vegas. A great atmosphere around in the city. Rich, what do you like the most about it? We're in Vegas, Vegas baby. baby. I mean, what's not to love about Vegas? And the players love it too, but they also love what the Shriners Hospital for Children is all about. They give so much money back to the children. Roy McEnroy has a game. They bring a lot of the kids out, and the players understand it. They know it. So as much as they love coming to Vegas, you know, letting their hair down a little bit, a lot of it has to go back to the charity component. So that's why they come. The golf course is fun. You can freewheel it out here. It is at the beginning of the year. They want to come out and they want to make some birdies. They want to test out new equipment. They want to test out new swing theories. They want to come out and work on their game a little bit in a competitive environment. And there's no better environment than this because they can go out and see where they're at because it's usually no wind, warm conditions, and you can get a good judge of exactly where their game's at. So I think players use this as a building block for the next year's play. And what a venue. I mean, it, it's just you get rewarded for good shots. You get penalized for bad ones. But it's a really good environment to go out there and, like I said, test new swing theories, work on your game a little bit, and kind of see where you're at. And it never hurts to make a fast start to the new season. Of course, this is part of that wraparound schedule. And if you're catching a few shows as well or hitting into the casinos, well, you get a complete week, don't you? Wow. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of fun in Las Vegas, is there? As long as it stays in Las Vegas. of a shot. Got it all right on that one. The chance to move deeper under the card. This putts for four under.
This one's dialed in. Well, what a way to bounce back. Nice putt to hold. And with that, he'll move to four under par. Oh, this is a precarious position, if you don't mind me saying, Rich. They have the lead, but there's plenty chasing with just nine to play. Yeah, no time to start thinking about that lead, Luke. They got to keep their head down and keep going forward. Cannot think about that lead or people will pass them. The 10th, the TPC Sutherland is the beginning hole of a back nine that has many challenges and also a lot of fun holes. Not overly long at 420 yards. You just try to avoid any trouble off the tee. Yeah, it's a fun game. A chance to begin the back nine with a birdie. The excitement. It's starting. You can hear it. I thought about looking in to get some different games and stream some of them. Let's recap the action from just some moments ago. Looking forward to seeing what Tony Finau does here, Rich. Well, I wonder what happens with this approach. Well, that was a beauty. Right out of the top draw. Nicely played. Let's return to live play now. Time for the second shot at the 10th. Well, this one might need to get down a little. Well, you're a ball striker. There's no doubt about that. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. Looks good off the blade. Ah, that's frustrating. And that should secure the par. Well done. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Currently at minus four for the round. Placement off the tee is required at the TPC Summerlin 11th hole, par four, measuring 448 yards. The big bunker down the right side is to be avoided at all costs. And there's also a little tree there which might affect any line of sight approach to this green. This one looks to be heading down the runway. <laughs> Playing this shot from 120 yards. That's a great shot and a birdie opportunity coming up here at the 11th. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. A chance to move to five under par. Looking better. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. And that will take him to five under. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Here at Summerlin is another short par four, 442 yards off the tits, but plays slightly downhill and leaves just a short iron approach. 
The only real danger here is the big body of water that starts around 150 yards short and goes right up past the green. That should find the fairway. This shot from 120 yards. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at Birdie coming up. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay. Now just one over par. Currently tied for sixth. I don't... All I know is say, watch out, the man that will return. I don't know the scoop, but I'm not going to speculate. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. This one started out on a good line. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today, and that will take him to six under. Our current leader enjoys a five-shot advantage. The 13th at TPC Summerlin is a monster par five, measuring over 600 yards from the back tees. The big hitters with the tail breeze can cover that bunker on the left-hand side. But if you want to lay up, make sure you're giving yourself the right number because there's a lot to this green and plenty of ways to three putt it. Be careful on approach. That's tidy. And here we are with the third shot. Yeah, I'm not sure what their plan is, but I'm sure... They will put it out there on their Twitters or whatever. <coughs> Playing their fourth shot. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. And just about eight feet left to the hole. Not a bad line, this. Oh dear, this next putt now for double bogey. Okay, let's head to the next. Currently three strokes up after that hole. The 14th at TPC Sumlin is a straightaway par three playing 168 yards. The green slopes right to left, so make sure you've got the right length of club so you're not left with a long putt. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. Hey. 
Terrific shot. And a chance for Birdie coming up here at the 14th. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Here's a chance to get up and down from the greenside bunker. Well, that's wonderfully played out of the sand. Let's get back to it, shall we? And this putt will take them to five under par. Well done. Take the birdie. And with that, he'll move to five under par. He's currently sitting in first place. The 15th, the TPC Sutherland is a great short par four. In fact, a lot will try and drive it in the tournament. If you want to lay it back, you've got around about 115 yards uphill to a green where you can't see those back hole locations. However, a good aggressive play here must avoid the pot bunkers around the greens or the big waste area to the left. A chance to make a birdie here or even an eagle. Oh, absolutely flushed. Well, let's catch up with this play just a moment ago. Justin Thomas with a great shot here. This is his third. Okay. So regulated, ready for WrestleMania backlash. At the fifth end. Or should they change the name of it to WrestleMania Rewind or Rematch? Woo, back there, horses. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. Made birdie on the last, looking for a second in a row here. A good chance to move to six under par here. Hey, nice looking line. A couple of birdies on the bounce as they make a move with just a few holes to play. Woo, that is some pretty good breathing room out in front by a bunch. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. The 16th at TPC Sumlin is another one of those great scoring holes on route. Look, I've said this recently on the shows. I think Ronda wins, and then we have a Hell in the Cell rematch for the third month in a row. We have three match, the same match. I think the match I'm most looking forward to is kind of two Cody and Rollins. And then I'm looking forward to Edge and AJ. I'm curious to see that how that goes. But other than that, I don't really care. I think Moss and Corbin could be good too. I think that match may surprise some people. Right out of the top drawer. The 16th hole at TPC Summerlin is the final par five on the course, Rich, and one the players can reach in two. Obviously, no hope leaving it short with your second shot in the water at 16, so most players bailing out, hitting it just over this green. If they draw a decent lie, they can chip it close, make birdie. However, not so easy, as there's a couple of low areas and greenside bunkers to deal with long of this green. Oh, this one should find the surface. Yeah, too much. Yeah, I agree. Edge and AJ should be really good. I also think Cody and Rollins, the second time ever facing each other on TV. I know they've had some dark show and or is it dark dark match? Dark show is the other show. Um, what am I trying to say? Oh, house show and dark match shows, or, or dark match matches, whatever.
to have misjudged the speed of that. Oh, what I was doing for a minute. We're looking dirty here. Yeah, I mean, it's so crazy the difference in that whole thing is right now. And I think I said it when he was in AEW, but I can't remember if I did or not. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm not trying to take credit for it. But I said Cody Rhodes in AEW, fans in WWE would cheer him. Because it's a different audience. I like the look of this. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? And plus, we haven't really got the same Cody Rhodes. Well, I think we kind of have, but not to the extent everyone's saying. Like, we haven't got all the bells and whistle Cody. Jonathan Bird once famously hold out in the playoff here. But that interview was good with Steve Austin. Green shapes right to left towards the hazard. So make sure if you're going to go for it, be very accurate. Going with the five wood. This one's going right at the pin here. Now that looked pretty good the whole way. Outside chance here for the birdie. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. I'm over here on the 18th, and this is Tony Fee now getting ready for his next shot. Close was that to going in the hole. Great shot. Pretty good shot there. Never seen a scorecard that doesn't look good with a two on it. accelerate through the ball just four feet remaining between him and the hole looking good yeah good putt well hold our leader is up by a whopping six shots now the 18th at TPC Sutherland is a 444 yard par four with the big body of water just beyond the gully which you've got to drive make sure you avoid those bunkers on the right side to give you a good iron into this green well, well played this shot coming from around the 150 yard marker looks to have opted for the eight iron Wonderful shot into the 18th and a chance for birdie. And this putt for the tournament. Tracking. <sighs> That's been some sharp shooting today. Let's make sure you make this putt for 64. Our winner of the Shrilands Hospital is for children though, but it's fair to say they were money this week. They were definite money this week. Lots of players had a chance coming down the stretch, but only one of them rolled the dice and came up spades in their win. Just about concludes our coverage. I'm Lou Gilby, and on behalf of Rich Beam, plus all the hard-working folks at HP Studios, it's good night for now.